What's going on, New Life family? This is Greg, and today we're going to be focusing on direction for your life. And the two scriptures we're going to be looking at regarding this is found in Matthew chapter 6, verse 33, and it says, Seek the kingdom of God above all else and live righteously, and he will give you everything you need. And in Acts chapter 1, verse 8, it says, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you and you will be my witnesses, telling people about me everywhere in Jerusalem, throughout Judea, in Samaria and to the ends of the earth. I believe that in this season, the direction that our lives need to be making is that we need to be individuals who are, number one, seeking God's kingdom above everything else. Number two, living in a way that honors and glorifies God and in so doing, becoming witnesses to everyone around us. You see, being a witness of Christ is not restricted to how much we talk about him to people, but also about how we live among people. And this is something that Christ embodied when people looked at him. This is what distinguished him from everybody else, from every leader, from every influencer. Jesus was distinguished because he showed what it looks like for a person to seek God's kingdom above everything else and to devote their lives to living in a way that gives glory and honor to God. Let's do the same thing even in the midst of everything that's happening. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we just thank you so much that you're not a God that leaves us without direction. I pray, Father, that in this season, dear God, we, we choose to be individuals who will seek your kingdom above everything else. That, Father, we will devote our lives and pursue a life that honors you and glorifies you. And I pray, dear God, that as we do this, that it will be a distinguishing mark on us, that it will bring an attention to who you are, even in the midst of all this chaos. I pray, God, that as we pursue this, people will not simply see us, but they will see you in Jesus name and find hope. Amen. Thank you so much for being with me this morning. Stay tuned for tomorrow. Later.